Alright guys, today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to play Dark Fights. It sounds like this if you haven't heard it. Alright, so the first chord you're going to need to know is a C minor. C sharp minor. So it's going to be your first fourth fret on the A string, and you're going to need your ring finger on the sixth fret of the D, and then your middle finger is going to be on the fifth fret of the B, and you're going to play the A, D, B, D. So A. play the just these two fingers together and just slide that up to the seventh or sixth fret on the A seventh on the B so and slide that up one more fret and then you have seventh on the A ninth on the B so just playing that slowly So that's gonna be the first part. And then you're gonna play this little riff where it goes. So that's you're gonna hammer on from the seventh to the ninth on the B. And the same on the high E. And then you're gonna pull off. And you're gonna hit the ninth on the B. Alright, so. And you're gonna go to an A bar chord, except you're gonna have your pinky stretching over here to be in the ninth of the B. And you're just gonna play the A on that low E string, and go down to the G, which is the second fret right here, or not second fret, the sixth fret. So you're gonna play, stop it, and you're gonna play it again. You're gonna walk down to G minor, you're gonna bar all of them on the fourth fret, and you're gonna play that G sharp, the G string, and you're gonna have your pinky here on the seventh. So starting from here. Alright, so that was the first time through the, through the loop, and then the second time through the loop, you're going to play it the exact same, so you're going to play it just like this. But then the lick he plays is a little different the second time, it sounds like this. So that's hammer on from 7 to 9 on the B, and you're going to hammer on and pull off on the high E, and you're going to hit back to B, then back to 7. And back to your A. Alright, so that's the whole thing just repeated. I'll play it really slow for you and you can play along. And that's it. So let me know if you have any questions and let me know if you have any other songs you want me to teach you guys.